In 2002, 60,000 adult Chinook salmon died during their annual fall run on the Klamath River. The specific species that were affected in the event include coho salmon, green sturgeon, steelhead, cutthroat trout, Klamath small-scale sucker, and primarily the Chinook salmon. Unfortunately, fish kills are not only occurring on the Klamath River, but are occurring in more and more rivers near you all over the world. Scientists have been able to directly attribute these fish kills and other harmful effects on aquatic ecosystems to a rise in global temperatures or climate change. In order to protect the Klamath from having other fish kills such as this, we first need to know the causes of them. I'm Derek Akum. I'm a fisheries biologist with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. I do in-stream habitat assessment and restoration projects for salmon and steelhead along the Russian River. Right now, we're seeing changes in precipitation or the amount of rain that we receive. Our annual averages are really not changing that much, but the way that we're receiving the rain is changing quite radically. We're seeing fewer storms, but those storms are of a higher intensity. So we're not getting rain spread out throughout the whole season. We're losing the shoulders of our rainy season too, where it doesn't really rain much anymore the first couple of months of our rainy season in the fall. And we're also not seeing as much spring rain late in our rainy season. It's all concentrated in the winter months. So these changes are having an effect on our aquatic ecosystems. When unaffected from outside disturbances, the Klamath River is a powerful, ecologically important, and culturally significant place. However, we are already witnessing the true impacts of climate change and what the future of California's freshwater ecosystems, including the Klamath River, might look like. Harmful algal blooms and fish kills are the result of a process called eutrophication, which begins with the increased load of nutrients to estuaries and coastal waters. The Klamath River, particularly the upper portion, is especially susceptible to this process, and over the last century, humans influenced it by draining wetlands and building hydroelectric dams and farms along the Klamath, all of which take a toll on the natural balance of the river. As waters grow warmer, they fill with nutrients, which allows cyanobacteria to thrive and to infect animals in the river to make them sick and even die. The change in habitat types can be disrupted. Those that are adapted for colder and cleaner water environments could be replaced by species that are better adapted to warmer, more nutrient-laden and slower water systems. The Department of Fish and Wildlife is trying to promote habitat restoration and improve water supply. You know, water conservation like rainwater storage to offset landscape irrigation, and also trying to improve riparian canopy and in-stream shelter to make the habitat more resilient. It probably sounds that climate change is already too big to get a handle on, but the truth is, if all of us took fairly simple steps in our everyday lives, we can stop climate change from causing dangerous effects that harm rivers all around us. One of the best ways that you can help is to simply talk. When we say talk, we mean to speak to your friends, family, schoolmates, neighbors, anybody about the effect of climate change. The more we speak openly about climate change and voice our concerns on social media and in person, the more likely society as a whole will pay attention and take action. Another major way to help in your everyday lives is to simply use less water. As climate change causes warming temperatures and drier climates, the lack of supply of fresh water causes many problems. Taking shorter showers, washing our cars less, and even watering our lawns during cooler parts of the day can conserve thousands of gallons of unnecessary water use. And for our last point on how you all can help, one of the most impactful ways to make a difference is to vote once you have reached 18 years old, and to pay attention to what is going to be voted on in every election where you live. Whether it's voting in your local city, state, 
or country's national election, your vote tells politicians and society what you care about. The environmental health of the planet is the future, so let's all vote to protect it. Today, you learned about how you can help California's aquatic ecosystems fight the growing threats of climate change through everyday tasks. We talked about how the effects of climate change can cause large-scale fish kills, what experts say this means for the future of our rivers, and how you can be a part of the solution to mitigate these effects of climate change from impacting these precious environments in the future. Thank you for caring about the health of the Klamath River and all of the other rivers that are special in their own way. We look forward to seeing how you all help these rivers in the future.